Hello everyone, this is Dan Gramza and welcome to Gramza Market Studies for Wednesday, September 23rd. I said that the Asia session wouldn't be that critical when it comes to the stock indices and that Europe was going to set the tone. I had no idea and that's what we're seeing here. This is yesterday's action and I had no idea that Volkswagen would come out with the announcements that they did. But that did set the tone. And that time zone set the tone not only for Volkswagen, but for a variety of other automakers as well as suppliers to the auto industry. And what do we look for, though, in today's action for Wednesday? I'm looking for this market to continue lower. The market's going to continue to absorb this information, but I'm looking for shadows on the lows, just like you see in yesterday's action. And right now in Asia, it's a little soft, breaking a little lower and leaving a shadow on the bottom. I think makes sense. Well, the euro continues its downward movement. Right now, a little bouncy at those lows as we're finding some buyers coming into the market. This is a logical level, as I talked about in the advanced video, to see that kind of behavior. And that's what we're looking for. Down here in the Aussie dollar, we traded below that bullish level. And the difference, excuse me, this bearish level, and the difference between this bearish level and that bullish level in that market is $1,050 per contract. I do look for further movement to the downside, not a dramatic move, but a move in the same, about the same size as we saw for yesterday's action. Let's move on over to interest rates. Well, the 10-year notes, slowing down a tad bit. We were looking for unchanged to higher. But actually, if you look at yesterday's action, it really came right back with the vengeance based upon what we saw in the stock market. I think that makes sense. I don't look for strong follow-through today. I'm looking for shadows on the highs when it comes to the 10-year notes. Now, in gold, it traded below its bearish level. And the difference between the bullish and bearish level on that market uh, for gold is $1,500 per contract. And what are we looking for in this market? I'm not looking for much at all. A little bit of movement to the downside, but not a dramatic move. Now in silver, it traded also below its bearish level. And the difference between the bullish and bearish level in silver is also $1,500 in terms of magnitude change per contract. And again, just to give you a reference for that size of movement, Let's take a look, though, what's going on in energy. Not much. I was looking for a sideways move. That's what it gave us. I'm looking for more of the same. I think this market is bearish, and I do look for that longer-term movement back to the downside. Well, soybeans, we're looking for an unchanged type day, and we had more than that. It actually breaks to the downside. Today is going to be very important. We don't want to see a rally in this market. We need to see continuation of that downward pressure if sellers are in control. Well, that concludes today's market studies. Thank you for being with me. I'm looking forward to being with you again tomorrow. And as always, take care.